Hey guys, so what is going on? I just have another video here to share with all of you on how you can delete, remove, or uninstall this windows.old folder permanently from your Windows 10 computer. If I right click on it and go to properties, you can see how quickly the gigs add up. Now, that's taking up a bunch of space on my hard drive. If I show you the space on my hard drive, it's cleared down to 83.5 gigs free. So I'm gonna show you guys how to remove this folder. I wouldn't remove it if you plan on restoring your computer back to the old version, but I don't recommend doing it that way. What I recommend you do is get rid of it. So if you click on this folder and you click delete, it says you need, you need to provide administrator permissions to delete the folder. If you click continue, it calculates and discovers all the stuff in there, which adds up again to like whatever 16 gigs 20 gigs you guys probably have more than i do but you can see there you require permission from system so how you want to do this is right click on that folder go to properties it's going to take four or five minutes for this to happen or longer for some of you guys but then what you want to do get into this window go to security okay go to advanced and then up here where it's the name says see windows.old it says system change click on that Come down here, click Advanced. Come over here and click Find Now. Again, you guys are going to, I'm going to have a lot of pop-ups here. Just follow along with me. In this list down here, I'm going to slide this over so I can see. You want to find where your computer says Users. Highlight the Users one and click OK so that populates it in there. Then click this OK. And then there's going to be a box here that says Replace Owner on Subcontainers. Check mark that. Down here at the bottom, there's another one, replace all child object permissions and so on. Check mark that one too and click apply. It's going to go ask you a couple of questions here. All permissions are going to be replaced. You tell it yes. Basically, we are going to give ownership of that folder to whatever user account you are logged in to your Windows computer on. All right, so we just answer yes to that one and let it finish what it's doing there. Okay, so I get another pop-up here at the end. I'm just going to answer OK. Down here, click OK. Now, in, in this little box that's left over, just highlight where it says Users PCO or whatever yours says. Just highlight the one Users here in your name. Click Edit. And you want to, once this box pops up, again, select this one again that says Users. Check mark all of these boxes and click Apply. It's going to go and do some more of this security stuff here. Okay, so once it's done, everything went away there. And what I'm going to do is go back in just to double check before I go any further. I'm going to highlight the folder, right click on it, go back to properties. And I'm going to check mark or select the users one here and see that it, it says allow for everything. So it looks like if I highlight this one, I'm just double checking. Everything says allow. We're all good. We've changed ownership of this folder. Now you should be able to click on the folder, choose delete, and it should discover everything. And this time it is going to delete this folder permanently, putting it in the recycling bin. Unless it's too big for the recycling bin, then we're just going to choose yes for permanently delete. We'll just see what it says here. Okay, this folder is too big for the recycling bin. Do we want to permanently delete it? Yes. Now I'm going to go ahead and permanently delete the windows.old folder. So you can see it just chewing through there, giving me back my gigs down here. All we really did here was take ownership of the folder and we're going to delete it. Still going. It's quite a bit of stuff to delete. So, oh, one little thing. If you get a pop-up, check mark the little box here that says do this for all current items and click yes. And there you can see the windows.old folder is gone. So if I go back in here to my hard drive, I recovered a lot of gigs. I'm up to 94.9 gigs there. So I got a lot of gigs back. That freed up some space on my hard drive and that folder's gone. It wasn't necessary. So if you guys run into any trouble after that, after you change all those permissions and you delete it and you get stuck and there's a file remaining or something like that and it says this file is currently in use, um, 
maybe there's a bug in the program once it creates that windows.old folder and what i recommend you do is go into the windows.old folder and see what file it is and if something's running you're going to have to disable it or go into your control panel on your computer and see if a program's installed you can uninstall the program and then come back and try to delete the folder again that's about the only other thing i can think of that may be an issue for you guys everybody's computers are different i hope that this helped you guys out some gain back some of your gigs if you guys like this video please click the like button and share it with your friends thanks a lot guys for watching have a good one